Um, I just, I wanted to start by just asking about the most obvious thing about the title, about the book, the title, The Free. Uh, it comes from the, the U.S. National Anthem, the Land of the Free, Home of the Brave. Uh, um, it started um, kind of with that idea. Um, I, I mean, I wrote, I wrote the, the free, I, I started to write it as a, um, as a distress call, really, to the, the patron saint uh, of nurses, uh, Camillus de Lellis. And I'm not a religious man, but I like the saints because because there were real people, and supposedly they've done these real great things. Um, and he, he was a, a, a gamblaholic and an alcoholic, which is why I liked him at first. Uh, um, but he ended up in a pauper's hospital, and he worked his way up from an orderly to a nurse to a priest to, a, um, to starting the red, basically what became the Red Cross. And I, I was thinking about him, and, and I was kind of writing this to shake him and say, hey, will you remember... Leroy, the soldier with a brain injury. Will you remember Freddie, the guy that's drowning in medical bills and has lost his family over, over, over a child that was born with severe medical problems? And will you remember the nurse that is worn out? And um, so it, 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 the free kind of started um, with those kind of really big subjects that scared the hell out of me. But they were the subjects and the ideas that would wake me up in the middle of the night and I thought at least once in my life I should try to write about really kind of heated uh, subjects that scared me. And so I, I wrote the book in six months and then spent, I was off the road and I spent three, almost three years uh, rewriting it because I was so scared and it had so many moving parts. Um, I just, I wanted it to be strong enough to get beat up <laughs> uh, and, and, and still remain its integrity if it, if it has any. So, so the title, the title came at the very, at the very beginning. It, it, I mean, the working title was uh, based on a song I, I'd written. A song called "A Letter to the Patron Saint of Nurses," which is about um, a, a guy whose girlfriend, who's a nurse, is, is kind of bringing her patients home with her, and she's kind of drowning in the sorrow of her patients, and the, uh, and she, she's just kind of cracking, and he doesn't know it. He has no idea what to do about it. And um, so the working title was always the, the, uh, for the patient saint and nurses. Um, and then, and then, um, then it became the free, free later on, but the free was always a part of it. Because it, it, there's, there's something that happens when you have a title like that, that the word becomes charged, so that every time you encounter free, anytime somebody says, I'll be free of that, you know, uh, Freddie and his medical bills, um, what this is, if you haven't read it, giving nothing away that you will not find out in the first lot of pages, Freddie's bills are about $12 uh, short of $75,000. Um, and he keeps a little tally of you know, how he's going to pay this off. His electricity's been cut off. Um, there's, you know, he has nothing, and he's trying to pay back these bills. He's working two jobs. And there's still this thought that if he can just get a little bit ahead, you know, someday he might be free. And it's just so charged the whole way through. Yeah, that was, uh, you know... Uh, I. Th uh, that was very intentional, you know. The, uh, F Freddie, I, I wrote him as to represent the working class, uh, you, you know, a, a symbol really of, of a guy that you can take away his medical coverage and you can take away uh, some of his hours and maybe take away his retirement plan. And, maybe, and he'll still show up and he'll keep trying. But if you push him too far, he'll break. And, and Freddie does break. And, and you'll see how he does if you buy the book <laughs> and uh um but but he's a good guy i think and and i i, I was really interested also in, in pauline who who's the nurse the nurse pauline who she uh was raised by a, a mentally ill kind of manic depressive father and so she's built a series of walls around herself to protect herself from his you know, mood swings and anyone that's been close to anyone with mental illness, it's, it's, it's all about navigating. It's like a minefield, and you just never know when it's going to hit you. And it, it's the same every day, and it's different every day. And I think she's built her with so many walls around her that she's stuck. And, um, and both, both of them are, are obviously not free, and nor is the soldier with a brain injury. Um, and so, yeah, it was kind of a play on that, and a really difficult novel that way because... because um, they're so constricted, and, and, and I had 
to stay on task because mm -hmm. there were certain things I really wanted to say with this novel.